I'm Kayla Burton with some breaking news just coming into the NFL Network newsroom. Thank you so much for joining us. To the victor go the spoils, and the Super Bowl champs just added a pretty big new spoil. Former Seahawks All-Pro linebacker Bobby Wagner is now a Los Angeles Ram. Now, the news actually broke today by Wagner's former Seattle teammate, Richard Sherman, who tweeted out, quote, the rich get richer, lose future Hall of Famer Von Miller and gain future Hall of Famer Bobby Wagner. The Ravens made a last-minute push, but the reigning champs, Rams, were just too good to pass up. Now, for more on this story, let's welcome in NFL Network's Tom Pelissero. And, Tom, we know that Wagner has been kind of going back and forth between the Rams, the Ravens. He's back in his home in L.A. What led to this decision? Well, first of all, it's a five-year, $50 million deal. It's worth up to $65 million with incentives for Bobby Wagner with the Rams. As you mentioned, he was born in Los Angeles. He started a colony high school in nearby Ontario, California. The opportunity to come home had to weigh into this, not to mention he now gets the opportunity to face his old team, the Seahawks, twice this season by staying in the NFC West. A unique negotiation here because Wagner Long has served as his own agent. We'll see the exact details on the contract, but certainly this is paying Wagner like he is a six-time first-team All-Pro selection who's still got a lot of football left as he heads to L.A. He sure does, and the only player with more first-team All-Pro selections, as you mentioned, uh, than Wagner, of course, is Aaron Donald. And just picturing and envisioning those two together, what does this mean for the Rams' defense, of course, if Donald is back? They certainly add some star power, and they add another talented veteran player to that defense. Go back to when Vaughn Miller initially seemed to be headed toward re-signing with the Rams early on in free agency. Then the Buffalo Bills stepped up with a big offer and ended up luring Miller to Buffalo with a six-year, $120 million deal. Now, that left the Rams without a key pass rusher, and that's not really Wagner's role. But it also freed up salary cap and cash that they could use elsewhere. First, the Rams spent on wide receivers receiver Allen Robinson, bringing him to L.A. on a three-year, $46.5 million deal. Now they also go after Bobby Wagner, who figures as a critical piece alongside the likes of Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey and others on a defense that just helped the Rams win the Super Bowl about a month and a half ago. And we've seen Wagner, of course, only with the Seahawks. Now he's joining the reigning Super Bowl champs. What kind of linebacker are we going to get out of Wagner? Or is the Rams, I should say, going to get out of, out of Wagner himself? Well, the Rams certainly hope, based upon the contract details, that they're getting Bobby Wagner in all-pro form. And let's be very clear, the Seahawks did not release Bobby Wagner because they thought he was done, that he's got no football left. He had a really big salary due this season, a really big cap number, and at a time that they had just moved on from Russell Wilson, trading him to the Denver Broncos, it made sense for them to reset. With Seattle, they wanted to bring some new guys into some of those leadership positions. Bobby Wagner has always been a big locker room leader, so the Rams now add another guy like that. You lose a big personality, a guy like Vaughn Miller, you bring in a Bobby Wagner. They're hopeful that this is going to have some of the same type of impact in terms of bringing this 2022 Rams team together. And do we know, Tom, how close he was to choosing the Ravens? He was going back and forth. Was it close at all? Well, he visited with both teams and obviously took several days to continue to consider it. You saw his friend and part-time NFL insider Richard Sherman say that the Ravens made a late push to bring him in. That makes sense. Baltimore always likes to play the compensatory pick game by getting a guy who has been released from another team. You would not potentially forfeit future comp picks. So they did make a push. Bobby Wagner had to sleep on it after it appeared that something was going to get done. Last night, he woke up. His mind was made up. He's headed to L.A. All right, Tom, well, thank you so much for your insight. Of course, Bobby Wagner is now a Los Angeles Ram. Of course, we're going to have more coming up on NFL Network.